is the package tray out of my 64 Falcon, that lovely uh, four door that's out there in the driveway. Now this package tray came out pretty much intact, a little bit of uh, on the edge. There's little pieces missing here and there, but that's not going to be a big deal. What we're going to do today, we're going to recover this uh, instead of just spraying it black and putting it back in the car. Kind of cheesy. Uh, we're going to use some uh, black covering. It's basically speaker box covering to go ahead and go ahead and reupholster this piece, put some upholstery on this piece, uh, make it look like something when it goes back in the car. Real easy. Uh, we pre-cut some fabric here. Now the roll was just a little bit short to go this way all the way once. So we, what we did is we cut two pieces out. What we're going to do is we're going to overlap those and then the middle of here. We'll fold this edge over on it, make it look like a seam when we glue it down. I don't know, it'll look pretty good. And it give a nice, real nice appearance of the fabric and the texture instead of just black spray paint over a gross edge. Real simple here stuff, guys. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is get our glue. We have that right here. Same 3M77 spray contact. We're going to spray approximately about three quarters of this. We're going to spray the back side of our material. We're going to put our first piece on, let that set up, and then we'll measure for our seam and put the second side on. Now we didn't glue the back, we'll go ahead and we'll glue up the back after we get the top laid when we tuck the remainder, we trim and tuck the remainder of the material underneath the back side, we'll spray the back side at that point. But right now, real simple, uh, like I said, this covers a good part of it, so we're going to leave enough overlapping. Start in the middle, work your way to the ends, get it nice and smooth. Alright, let's get some spray out of here. And just pulling it tight here gives a nice uniform look when we're all done. And again, uh, as soon as we set our other side in, we will go ahead and, like I said, spray our back, trim all this extra material up, and spray our back down. And for right now, this works. Okay, keep it from sticking to our table here. Now, second step. is we pre-measured okay we pre-measured this board we know it's 54 inches and a half that's 27 okay laid on the table 27 directly is in the middle here this is where our seam is going to lay all right so we take our second material grab our end and approximately one inch little fold here. Get this fold started. Get it pressed in. Give it a little bit of glue. Give that a second to tack up. Folds over very nice. Leaving a nice flat C 
seam to work with. I'm going to take this. Put our seam right in the middle like so. So this will be right in the middle of the car. Nice little seam. Everything is, it'll end up looking real good. Easy enough. Let's go ahead and get this piece glued down and we'll go ahead and wrap the rest of this up. straight and square. Make sure that's pulled under all the way. Flatten out our material. Got a nice little bump in there, but we can work that out. Let's go ahead and get this trim. Now we give that a minute or so to tech up, glue off our thumb, and see what we can do here. Let me get some another layer between these two here. And we fold.
corners, since it's underneath, we can cut away all this excess. Corner you can cut away. And there we go, guys. One rear package tray. And the finished product. There we go, guys. One rear package tray. About five bucks. That's pretty good for five bucks. Take that. That's going to look good in the car. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.